So we decided to paint our house this summer because it was time. Uh, we decided to change the color from a greenish earth tone to a blue, bluish gray. I really like the color. Um, so some of the tools I've been using, I thought I would go over those, um, let you guys know what I'm using and what I think about them. So first off, I have the Milwaukee five inch disc sander, orbital disc sander, takes the M18 battery. Really um, energy efficient because I can use this a long time with a 5.0 battery. It's, you know, it's a little bit heavier than if you had a corded model, but you don't have the core dragging around. Um, but it really works well at feathering the, the paint edges and cleaning up stuff. So I mean, I really uh, use this a lot. The only drawback to these is the dust collection box that they have on here. It just doesn't doesn't function well. There's a cover, the cover falls off. It has a filter instead of just being like a dust bag. Um, I'm hoping they redesign it with a newer model. So when I buy another one, it'll have a better dust bag on it. I have seen other people using them with a different dust bag but I don't know if that's in another country or where it's at on YouTube uh, but I, re I really like it uh, it's worked well what I'm using on it are these Bauer Hover Brake 40 grit and these uh, I, I, I couldn't find 40 grit at Home Depot so I went to Hover Brake I found these 40 grit Bauer I think I paid like 7 bucks for, for this pack of 15 and they work well. The paint doesn't build up on them. They last a long time. And it really helps feather out the edges and knock off. Even if there's loose paint, this will knock it off. So when, when, the, when it's not real bad, I use this sander with these discs to kind of clean it and feather it out. But when the sanding gets too difficult and it is too much, I, I use this Wagner paint eater. Um, I really love this thing. It, it makes a mess. It throws stuff all over you. Uh, I did remove the guard to make it easier to get in or closer to the edges. Um, the only drawback to this is the cord comes out here. So when I'm sanding on the wall, the, the extension cord is trying to pull my wrist back and forth. I think if they were to redesign it, maybe put the cord out this side and put the start stop up here would make it much, much easier. I don't know if, you know, maybe other people use it like this, but I found the best way to grab it is just like this. I can work in one hand. If it starts hopping, I grab the top and I really can get some pressure on it. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I would change about this tool. I paid like 70 bucks for it. And I mean, you take a look at it. I've worked it. I've worked it hard. Um, still, still runs great. So another handy item if you have chipping and peeling paint. The third thing is the Ryobi sander. We already had Ryobi batteries. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on one of these little, I don't know what they call them, mouse sanders. It's got the pointed edge so I can really get into the corners. Um, works works as well as I could expect for $39. Um, seems to be okay. The Ryobi batteries, you know, I, I'm a fan of Ryobi. I have a lot of Milwaukee tools. I like Milwaukee. They're industrial. They're heavy duty. But around the house, I have the Ryobi leaf blower. I have the hedge clippers, I have the little weed eater, um, and they work just as well too, and I think a lot of the tools coming out are, are getting better, and I like the fact that they never change their battery platform. So if you have an old Ryobi tool, you can go buy a new battery, pop it in, and you can use it. Unlike the DeWalt, who you know went from the 18 volt, which I had a lot of DeWalt 18 volt, they went from the 18 volt to the 20 volt. I tried to do the conversion. I had 20 volt batteries. I just didn't like them. They didn't seem to hold up. So I landed on the Milwaukee. We use them at work. Um, they hold up great in the industrial environment. So I went to Milwaukee. But I also got Ryobi because they're very cost effective and they, they seem to work well. Another thing I'm using is the 3M tape hand taper hand masker and this thing is a time saver if you want to mask off windows or trim you can put either plastic on here or you can put a roll of paper it puts the tape right on it as you pull it out so you don't have to do both just pull it out go across the window once it's taped on cut it off and you're done just finish taping around it it is a very easy tool to use it's got a hook I put it in my back pocket I can go up and down the ladder with my hands free, 
when I get up there I can mask the window it doesn't take long at all just got to be careful of the perforated edge but I still have all my fingers so I think we're good so those are some of the things I've been using I'm also wearing dust masks so I've been picking up these KN95s I think they're sufficient enough for outdoor sanding um, and I, you know, they're pretty much on sale everywhere now because people aren't wearing as many masks as they used to be so that's pretty much some of the tools I've been using for the painting on the house um, I plan to post some more videos so I see you in the future.